marketers, welcome to the dynamic world of people performance analysis in Marketo Engage. Get ready to embark on a journey through engagement metrics where we'll uncover the secrets behind your audience's interactions. By the end of this adventure, you'll have the insights needed to evaluate your marketing efforts and drive meaning meaningful connections with your audience. So let's dive in. You're going to start out by navigating to your Marketo Engage instance, and then you're going to go down to analytics. In this particular video, we are going to be focusing on the people performance report. So we're going to select that one here. And just like all of your other reports, the first thing that you're going to want to do is save your report. You can either save it in a private or a public report folder that everyone in your Marketo Engage instance has access to. For this one, I'm going to save it in my private folder and call this person performance and give it a description of understanding how sources are driving persons for creation. So once you've saved that report, then you are going to see it populate under your reports right over here. So you have a couple of options. You can view the report right away for any standard pieces of information. You can select the smart list for inclusion or exclusion of a particular audience. And then where we're going to spend the majority of the time is this setup section. So in this section here, you have a couple of different options. The person performance report is specifically focused on understanding what is driving a person to creation. So that is what your time period is gonna be based off of. So you can select a particular date range or you can select all time. So what that means is it's going to look at pulling people based off of their creation date in your Marketo instance. And then based off of that creation date, you can group those people together. So in this particular report, we're going to focus on understanding what source is best at driving a person to creation. And what we have identified as best in this video is highest number, or highest count. That is one key item to reporting is always understanding and documenting what you mean by most effective or best, because there can be a variety of ways to look at that. But in this particular report, we're just focused on what source is driving the most people to be created. In this dropdown, you'll be able to select all of your either custom or out of the box fields for your Marketo Engage instance. But in this case, we're just going to be looking at person source. You also have the opportunity to show or hide opportunity columns. So what this means is it will just populate the number of opportunities and any opportunity data if that person is attributed to that opportunity. So if you want to start looking at attribution reporting, you might want to show that. That also requires that the team has opportunity data passing back to your Marketo instance from your CRM. The other one is identifying how many custom rows or how many rows you want to actually export if you do export the report into an Excel file. And the final piece is adding in custom columns. So this piece allows you to append additional information to your grouping. So for example, we're looking specifically at understanding what source is driving the most people to be created in our Marketo instance, but you can layer on additional smart list memberships to identify how maybe that audience has engaged over a period of time. If we navigate over to the smart list, like I said, we can filter down particular sets of information. So maybe you wanted to build a couple of person performance reports based off of products to understand how a particular source drives a person to be created and what products they end up being interested in down the road. This is where you can do that. Once you have that all built, you can actually then navigate to the report and you'll see a grouping of all of the person sources here and the number of people associated with that particular performance report. You can then sort that information as well. So in this example data that we have here, the community is the best driver when it comes to identifying best as the highest count at driving people to be created or known within our instance. 
Another important feature of the person performance report is the drill down feature. For example, if I wanted to understand the acquisition date of people who came in through a community, I can select community, drill down, and select their acquisition date. From there, I can select how to group these people by quarters, potentially in this case, and then select drill down. This will open up a new report specifically for people who came in at any point in time from the person source of acquisition community, and then it will tell me when they were actually acquired. So if I wanted to identify trends quarter over quarter for a particular segment within the person source dimension, I could do that. So some tips for effective reporting. The first one is having consistent values for the dimensions that you've selected in your grouping. Ensuring that the dimensions you've selected, such as person sources you saw, or maybe something like acquisition program, are standardized or fall in a specific naming convention allows it to be easier to filter and analyze the data accurately. You're also going to want to understand your program and source promotion information or the way that your dimensions are built. Context is key. By evaluating the promotion of certain programs or sources to determine if they are effectively creating new people requires you to identify which strategies you're employing to understand if they're working well and are efficient. Another one is utilizing smart list columns. Use smart list columns to understand how people from, say, a specific creation dimension are engaging, scoring differently, or where they are in a life cycle. This deeper insight into engagement metrics allows you to tailor your strategies more effectively. And finally, benchmarking is key. You want to compare your results over a period of time to provide context to help you understand if your performance is performing relative to other programs and highlight areas for improvement. And there you have it. You've successfully navigated the complex landscape of people performance metrics and emerged with valuable insights. Now, armed with this knowledge, go forth and foster stronger connections with your audience. Remember, in the ever evolving world of marketing, data is your most powerful ally. Happy analyzing and be sure to check out our other reporting one-on-one videos for more tips and tricks.